Hi, I'm Alistair Sutherland, one of the contributors to the new vSphere 7 design class. In this short video, I'd just like to take you through some of the features of this great new training course. So this class is a three-day instructor-led class, and it will be available from May 2020. What's particularly exciting about this class is, and it makes it quite different from most of the other technical training courses you may have attended, is that this is centered around a fictional customer uh, requirement. So that as we go through the various parts of a vSphere design, taking it right the way through from identifying functional versus non-functional requirements, identifying risks and constraints, uh, the results of interviews with stakeholders, and capacity planner results that we've got from an existing environment, we walk through the process of going through conceptual design and logical design, but all applied to this fictional customer requirement. So the training course will obviously empower you with all of the kind of design choices that you need to make. For example, which identity provider are you going to use for authentication and authorization? And what uh, storage choices are we going to make in terms of data store layout, in terms of VMs per data store? What are the, what's the impact of our design choice? What's our justification for that design choice? So it's a very structured way of uh, coming up with a really great vSphere design. But when we look to the lab exercises that you'll do, these lab exercises are all paper-based. We're not jumping into consoles. This is working with your peers in the classroom. And you'll be breaking out into small teams and you'll be working through the requirements and you will be filling out some templates and you will be having class discussion and group discussion, justifying back to the instructor why you've made specific design choices and making sure ultimately you can present that back and justify your design decision and understand the impact of that decision. Now, during class, we will, of course, explore architecture frameworks from TOGAF through to VMware validated designs. Uh, we will also explore uh, all the VMware technologies that are going to be appropriate to coming up with a vSphere design. So of course we will look at things like, is it appropriate to use centralized logging with the likes of vRealize Log Insight? Do we need to, uh, in our networking design, do we need to use distributed switches? Do we need to go further and have software defined networking with the likes of NSXT? We explore manageability, so we need to consider things like the life cycle management of the solution we put in place. So, of course, we've got to consider things like VM life cycle, uh, host life cycle. We need to consider things like patching and maintenance. All of these are considerations that we will go through when we come up with our design. Now, this course uh, will help you prepare for the VMware Certified Advanced Professional uh, Certification in Data Center Virtualization, what we call the VCAP DCV Design uh, Course. So it's really great preparation for that, but I think you're gonna really enjoy attending this class. The class really is intended for systems integrators and consultants who are ultimately going to be responsible for designing and deploying vSphere environments. We really would have expected you to have attended the Install, Configure and Manage class and the Optimize and Scale class beforehand, as when we look at some of the vSphere technologies, rather than delving into what they are and how they work, it's more about the appropriateness of using them or how a particular feature should be configured to meet a specific customer requirement. So really we're looking at these technologies in a slightly different context rather than just purely from a technical a uh, definition of what they are. So we've constructed the course over 11 modules, and you can see there's a nice flow to this. We start out looking at assessment of requirements. There's an existing uh, infrastructure, existing set of workloads we need to consider, and then we move into how we can design our core infrastructure. So we need to look at the components that are required. How many vCenters, how many sites, our ESXi hosts. Then we move into how we can provision storage and networking for them, how we can uh, configure our virtual machines. And as we move into then security, we need to consider, uh, do we have different tiers of security? Do we have different requirements? Certain VMs maybe need to be encrypted. Maybe we need to leverage virtualization-based security on Windows workloads, for example. 
We'll look at manageability and look at life cycle management. And then we'll look at recoverability and we'll touch upon about suitability for the likes of Site Recovery Manager or vSphere Replication or maybe Array-based replication for uh, maximizing our recoverability opportunities in our design. So hopefully that's given you a good flavor of what the vSphere 7 design class is all about. As you've heard, it's very much about applying our design knowledge to a given scenario. And the labs are what make this course really come alive. That ability to apply what you've learned to a scenario and get involved in the classroom with your team and present back to the instructor, justify your design decisions and don't be afraid to present them and see, get other people's point of view and see if you can improve upon your design uh, and it becomes an iterative process. And when you walk away, you'll feel confident that you'd be able to do this for either your own organization or for a customer if you're maybe a systems integrator or a consultant. So I hope to see you in class. Thanks and bye for now.